My name is Steve Grody. I wrote the book Graffiti LA, Street Styles and Art. Uh, I saw things happening back at the beginning of LA when it was going up onto the walls back in uh, the mid 80s. I saw, I remember passing the KSN uh, yard when that was going on and uh, Pan Pacific. And I thought it was really interesting, but even though I have an art background and did letters as a kid and bubble letters and uh, I thought it was interesting what I saw going on but I didn't think about documenting it because that just uh, wasn't my orientation uh, even though I had a certain amount of training in photography I wasn't interested in documentary photography but then uh, I had moved downtown in 86 and uh, when I past Belmont for the first time uh, just by accident it was after the uh, slick hex battle and by that point I realized that stuff came and went very quickly and I thought uh, just there needed to be a record it, uh, I didn't wasn't thinking about writing a book I wasn't thinking about it being a project I didn't think about it being the project that it became but I just thought there needs to be a record of this somehow. And so uh, I started documenting, starting at Belmont. And then I ran, a, ran into people at Belmont and uh, when they realized that I wasn't a cop, uh, which was a question I got a lot because I was older than the average graffiti writer, uh, they would tell me about other places. So then I learned about Sunset and Sanborn and ran into people there and they told me about Motor and they told me about this place and that place until I was getting around the, pretty, the city pretty well. There, the major yards that were going on. Uh, there will always be those spots that are one-time spots or spots that are running for a short time. And so there's plenty of stuff I didn't get, but I realize now that the people that were really active and consistent around the yards at the city that were representing at Pan Pacific, uh, not just Pan Pacific, but uh, excuse me, at uh, Venice Pavilion and Motor National and Belmont and the main places uh, I was getting those people pretty consistently. Uh, at a certain point I realized that there were a lot of interesting things that were not being said about graffiti, they're not being written about, about the technique, about the aesthetics, about style issues and uh, so I started thinking that it would be interesting to write something about this. Uh, also, there were so many strong writers in LA uh, that were not given their due. And so at a certain point, uh, I started sending out proposals and uh, during the mid 90s, there was no great interest in publishing about, in the publishing world about graffiti. So that all got chopped down. I thought, well, it doesn't really matter to me that much because that wasn't the reason I was doing this to begin with. Uh, but finally, uh, Jim Prigoff, who had seen the way I was documenting things, he got in touch with me and he said that, that there, was, there was starting to be a lot more publishing about graffiti and that I should be in touch with Abrams because they had done Graffiti World and they would be interested because that book sold well. And, uh, but he stressed that really LA is what I had down and so that's what I should go there to, to present. And uh, as it turns out, uh, that's been an appreciated thing. Uh, my book has three main areas. There's the history of how things started in LA. There's the, uh, the style and aesthetic history of who were the major innovators in LA and the influences uh, from the east side, west side, mid city, south side, uh, the valleys, uh, the south, east, uh, down to, into Orange County. Who are the people that were active and, and made contributions? And I really tried particularly to give credit to the veterans, some, some of which uh, the younger generation has really kind of slept on, people that don't are not given their their credit uh, and I think that that's been appreciated by by Los Angeles from the feedback that I've I've gotten uh, 
I do have a some history with uh, with uh, AWR, MSK, and now being represented by the seventh letter, because I was around those guys. I was around Eclipse and AWR back in the, the kind of the, the classic heyday of, of the uh, early to mid 90s. And, uh, and so I have a friendship that goes back then and uh, appreciate that I'm considered part of the extended family of, of seventh letter. Uh, and it's kind of it's been always been interesting to be around these these guys because my my upbringing was in the valley, just kind of a, a kids kind of skating around the valley and uh, biking around the valley, and it was pretty pretty mellow. There was uh, really no gangs where I was. Uh, it was just up in the up in the up in the hills, and uh, so my life is very different than the life of the average graffiti writer. Uh, it's been interesting to uh, to do this, uh, and I don't, in the future I will do some other things. I'm thinking about some plans about my maybe a book on uh, graph that emphasizes the high end. My archive is over 12,500 slides of, of LA, and so I'm not sure exactly what I'll do, but there's more to represent, there's more to talk about. Although, uh, since in the other part of my life uh, I teach uh, self-defense, kind of street-oriented self-defense privately, and so I want to continue with uh, some book projects that I have in that regard. Uh, but that's, uh, that's been a large part of what I've been doing for the last, uh, the last 17 years, and it's led up to this project. And now it's nice to know that uh, LA is being seen in books around the world in this book, Around the World, it's being seen, uh, kids are buying this in Mexico, they're buying it in Europe, they're buying it in Japan, and the words of LA writers and the, uh, the, the, the style of LA writers, which is already powerfully present around the world, is uh, now kind of able to be seen in, in depth, and I, I feel uh, proud to have been able to have contributed to uh, representing LA. On this particular video, which we just kind of put together for Gorilla One. We're just seeing a little range of stuff, starting with some footage I had of uh, the work that was done uh, down in Watts at Gompers. Uh, most of these uh, guys are seventh letter. Uh, we see a little bit of uh, saber working, and we see uh, work by Retina. We see a nice range of of what was going on. Then we also see some of the stuff going on just around downtown. There's a range of stuff. We see uh, uh, a UTI and SCA wall. We see, uh, we see uh, Mainstays LTS. We see that third rail piece from, from Sabre was just some of the beautiful hand style call outs. And uh, we see uh, we see seventh letter. We see uh, going down the river, that huge, the second biggest blockbuster in the world by MTA, and then a little bit of the meaning of styles, and uh, just to show the range of stuff that's gone around the city.